Hello everyone, this is AM Harbinger playing Red Dead Online. So yeah, the beta has started and I'm going to try it for the first time. Alright, so Rockstar sent the message out. Play the Red Dead Online beta now. With the gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2 as its foundation, Red Dead Online transforms the vast and deeply detailed landscapes, cities, towns, and habitats of Red Dead Redemption 2 into a new living online world ready to be shared by multiple players. Create and customize your character, tailor your abilities to suit your play style, and head out into the new frontier full of things to experience. So it's like GTA Online with Red Dead Redemption. I mean, that's a very uh, shallow co uh, comparison, but it seems like they're trying to go that route. I mean, I appreciate the fact that they're doing a beta, because Red when GTA Online launched, it was a horrible tragedy. I mean, both on PS4, Xbox One, and on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It was just so bad. So the fact they're testing this thing before they release it is a good idea. Also, after Fallout 76, yeah, <laughs> let's just not speak of that. That game is just a huge train wreck as a video game product and as a company-wide decision. But I'm really glad that they're testing this. So hopefully it's really good. I mean, I never got into GTA Online because after I, I was one of the early adapters. So once I played it and the online system didn't function correctly, it kind of killed all the experience for me. I was more excited for the single player content, but of course that was delayed and then eventually it was just softly canceled. Like they just said, okay, we're not mentioning it ever again. Like Agent from Rockstar, they just never renewed the trademark and they just said, okay, it's gone. It's almost like what the Bethesda did with Prey 2. They just waited until they decided to cancel the game. Or the concept. Hopefully, they're... I might play Bully. I've been hearing a lot of uh, people tell me to play Bully. Man, this hair is really getting in my way. But yeah, I've never played okay, Bully. Sir. So that's another Rockstar game I want to play. There they are. Tell the Marshal this ain't how we do things here. But I'll oblige him this once. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, choose between male or female. One of you. You know what? I'm gonna go with a female character. Okay, you head through there. Oh wow, she definitely looks like she's I'm been through stuff. Details. Well, of course, you know what I'm gonna name her. The best name in the world. She will bring destruction to all organic life in the future. Bye. Appearance. Alright, let's see what preset we got. Holy crap, she looks like Thanos now. Man, these are a lot of facial structures. Right. Yeah, I get it. Skin tone. I like that one, so let's see. Skin tone. I like this skin tone. Age. Let's make her like my age. Hear, I'll be 29 on uh, Friday, so I might as well, you know, celebrate my birthday now. S a skinny, athletic, average, heavy, brawny. You know, I'm gonna go with average. I'm surprised they don't have Kirby here. I guess Kirby would be uh, brawly. I'm not really sure. I'll go with the. Uh, what was I? Yeah, I'll go with. Uh, oh wait, you can turn the character around so you can see her. I like how the character model moves. That's Tell actually really good detail. Except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. But I am innocent, man. Uh, carefree, neutral, narrow. I like narrow. Hook. Quite a record we'll have on you. I'm surprised they don't have like a scar. I would like like a scar image from Geralt of Rivia from Witcher. I guess I'll go with turned up. Mouth and lips. You're lucky you were caught. <laughs> Smoocher. You know, the way it's the like a uh, Meg from happened, Family Guy. You were likely to be Small. shot. Wide, narrow, weak, square. I'm gonna go with square. Wow, they really go into detail here. <laughs> Even the ears. It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at these. These are awesome. How you doing with that? I'm gonna go with chompers. 
hair. Show an afro. Okay, Actually, I'm, I'm gonna change the hair color first. Can I make it purple? I guess they have to be realistic about this stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Yep. I'm gonna go with white. Not a lot of hair options. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Lifestyle. Man, they are so... Oh, wait, you could put a scar. Okay, where's the Gelta Rivia scar? There it is. The squ Well, it's not Gelta Rivia. It may be more of a Squall scar from Final Fantasy VIII. No, it's gotta be deep. Like when Cypher just sliced him and crossed his nose. Alright, makeup. Lipstick color. Definitely purple. Because purple is the best color. I'm actually a little surprised that you can't change the race of the character. I kind of wanted that. Maybe it's next. Unless I missed it. I don't think I missed it. I went through all the options. Okay. Let's select this character. Alright, so do I click B to select out? Okay. Whistle. I can't change it. Oh, I can. It's the other thumbstick, of course it is. I actually like that whistle. I'll, I'll keep that. I got two points to, ass uh, to assign. You know, stamina is always an issue when it comes to these games, so I'm gonna always max out on stamina. Yep, that's my You're character. Correct. I'll take a photograph. Hold up your fingers. Oh wow. They actually turned it into a loading screen. That's pretty cool. Why am I holding up my fingers like this? I'm not really sure. It must be a historic thing. I'm not... Someone in the comments tell me. Or maybe I'll just research that on Google. I really like how it opened. It was really well done. It's not like you just come out of a plane and, you know, riding a car with a main character, Deus Ex Machina style. It's very like, you're a criminal and now they're taking your picture, which is, it fits the story. I'm sorry if I uh, mentioned some spoilers in Red Dead Redemption, but I played the full campaign. Uh, so I might Jackson, learn about stuff that Officer Jackson, has move happened those already. Prisoners. Officer Benton! Kitchen's a staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moving! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moving! You! You! You with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Rhodes. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. Yeah! You all know what's gonna happen. Laws for life. Time to kill the law and, you know, do I'll some looting. i tell looting. you what. Old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. We weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. 
Personally, I'm against education. With women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Doesn't add much to the world. <laughs> education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wendt, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. I feel like I shoot him in the back. Just take, uh, you know, take my chances in the wild. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. Oh my god. Don't remind me of horses. What happened to Sovereign? I'm still it's choked not much up of about an animal, that. But I haven't got far to ride. Just get on the horse when you're good and ready, okay? Let's ready? do this. Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months in Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body or in spirit. I hope I'm right about that. Rounding you folks up and those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. So is this like a simple moment or something? I'm really confused. Why did you save me? When you were, came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. I guess we'll see. I like how they play the mute protagonist here. He just keeps talking and I say nothing. I mean, it is an online game, so I understand. Yeah, I'm not hitching my horse. Let's just do this. Oh wait. God damn, they still haven't fixed this damn slow walk into camp. People don't want to walk slowly when they're in camp. They want to move as quickly as possible. Come on. This way. She's anxious to meet you. She? <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? 
Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. So I can understand why they took the out the uh, redemption from the title. Alongside so this is Red Dead Revenge. Need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. I like that. Did you guys see that? The hat just popped onto her head. <laughs> Dude, they gotta go with the top hat. It reminds me of Excalibur from uh, Soul Eater, uh, anime I just watched. It's really good. I recommend it to anyone. Except he wears all white and he keeps saying the word fool. So I guess I'm limited. I want. Alright, so the clothes don't cause weather ailments like in the campaign. I guess they took that out. Unless it does, I'm not really sure. I guess they're mostly cosmetic because they say levels on them. I mean, I'll keep the way I'm looking right now. Well, I don't have much options. That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death. All because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw. Banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing. Ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, my former best friend, Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet, get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! Get up! Oh, hello, partner. Harley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And uh, where are we headed? I don't get a choice. Yep, I don't get a choice. Oh, and uh, madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. 
A scrawny nag. Get onto the station. It's not too far. I wonder if I can uh, play between single player and multiplayer, like meet John Mostyn and Arthur Morgan while I play in Duchess Gang. Uh, I guess not. I think this is just. I guess that's why they're uh, testing it out to try and make that interconnection, or maybe they're just going to keep it separately. But so far, it's very appealing. I really like the story. It's engaging. It seems very. I don't. It just seems somewhat I'm interested in. I mean, I want to see what happens to this woman and how my her revenge is going to turn out. It's probably going to be a very difficult adventure. It's going to require a lot of uh, teamwork and all that, even though I'm not good at that. I usually play alone. But I think I'm going to cut this video off at 20 minutes so you guys have something to watch uh, to have a break. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos from me, AM Harbinger. And as always, stay awesome, everyone.